if you wear a uniform or distinctive clothing at work, you could be missing out on a tax allowance for cleaning it. The money could be worth up to £56 a year and your claim can also be backdated. Most people don't seem to know about it, as we found out in Birmingham. Actually, I don't know. I don't know what tax I can pay him back, like. But <laughs> if it's something you'll look into. Yeah, absolutely. If I can get, if I can get some of my money back, you know, times and times are hard, you know. Every time you clean something, you're using up your washing tablets and costs a lot of money to use the washing machine. So, yeah, I have quite a considerable amount. I've got two of these. I've got three different colours of these. I've got two pairs of trousers, hard shirts. But initially, we had vouchers about 15 years ago which we used to actually get our uniform cleaned, and then it was incorporated within our actual uh, tax code. So we are now responsible. So Paul Lewis of Money, uh, Money Box and Radio 4 is with us now. Paul, a lot of people wear work gear, don't they, which is logoed and yes. only for work. Yes. yes, it really has to be distinctive. That's the word the, uh, the revenue uses. Um, and it, normally that means having a logo on it, as those people that we just saw. Now, you're wearing a very smart suit. Uh, that won't be allowable. But if you had BBC Breakfast embroidered on it in our colours, then it probably would be. So it, it is that distinction between work where you can't wear anywhere else. There are special rules, though, for people in, in caring services, hospitals, care workers, they can get allowances, even if it's not specifically logoed. And if you have to wear an evening suit, a dinner suit, in the day, then that can also count, so if you're a waiter or a group dealer. What doesn't count? I mean, you mentioned Charlie's suit, but there are, there are some requirements, aren't there, for the employers make of employees about workwear that may not be particularly branded. No, that's absolutely right. I mean, if your employer says, well, all the women have to wear pale blue blouses or all the men have to wear blue shirts, that won't count. But if that shirt or blouse has something distinctive on it, then yes. And if it's in really, really garish colours, you know, orange, green and black stripes or something that you couldn't possibly wear outside and that if anyone saw you, they'd say, yes, that's the person who works for such and such a company, then that would probably count. But my advice is claim. I mean, I have heard from people this morning who have claimed and got it even where it's not specifically logoed. I've also heard from bus driver Stephen who says he's claimed this allowance and got a rebate for the last few years and got his tax code reduced in future. So a lot of people in those sort of traditionally uniform services certainly can claim.